Hey Taurus, I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your general love reading for May. So we're going to look at the energy between you and your person. This could be someone that you're currently dating or in a relationship with. Or anyone that comes up in your energy, okay? It could be a past lover, an ex. We're going to find out what is going on. So this can resonate for you if Taurus is in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? Or you can have a lot of Taurus throughout your birth chart, okay? So this will not resonate with every Taurus out there, okay? Because it is a general love reading. But if it does resonate, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, okay? So Taurus and your partner, May 2020, general love reading, all right? So what's going on with Taurus? I'm using the Spellcasters Tarot for the main spread, and I have the Everyday Witch for clarification. So let's get started for Taurus. The current neutral energy between you and your person. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So someone may have been really holding back in the past, very closed off. You couldn't really see how they felt about you. Okay, they made it very difficult. But I do feel like someone is now opening up. This could be your partner, okay? Maybe they want to now be more vulnerable with you or share their emotions and feelings here. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The challenge is the Eight of Swords in reverse. So someone had to let go of something or someone maybe had a third party they were connected to. There was something maybe this person wasn't seeing possibly, okay? But maybe they also felt trapped in some kind of situation that was very binding, okay? Where they weren't able to make a decision or they weren't able to move forward, okay? Now, the recent past energy, we do have the Seven of Cups. So there could have been a lot of confusion here in this connection. There may have been other people involved, family members, friends, okay? Um, when we think of third party, it doesn't always, always have to be like a lover, okay? It could be um, just a lot of responsibilities as well. But I do feel like there's some kind of confusion regarding love because the Cups is about love, feelings, emotions here. You could also be dealing with a water sign. But if anything, I do feel there may have been... a um, confusion that may have caused some distance here or rift in your relationship with this person okay it may have made this person a little bit slow to move forward to you okay we have the little turtle here sitting in the card um so yeah there was a lack of clarity a lack of um forward movement because this person had a lot of confusion they had their hands full they couldn't make a decision regarding love okay if they should date you continue seeing you or maybe go out and um keep their options open okay so that was the recent past energy on your mind taurus king of cups you could be dealing with someone with the king of cups um another water sign again someone who is very um you know open with you open with their feelings emotions but more than anything they're very nurturing they may want to nurture something here with you in this connection they may be affectionate wanting to um get to know you like skin deep okay not just like surface layer uh conversation okay not just a casual this person really does have some feelings for you and they really do care about you he has a big cup of love and he may be trying to offer this to you taurus okay so this could be someone in your energy or you may be trying to manifest this kind of um person into your life okay now the reason for the reading okay at the foundation we do have the knight of pentacles in reverse so yeah there was something that was very slow to come in someone wasn't coming to you with some kind of commitment with some kind of stability okay they were really taking their time or it just was not moving at all, okay? Things may have been very stagnant and possibly because, well, this person was holding back. They weren't revealing their emotions. There was a lack of clarity and confusion here with the Seven of Cups regarding dating other people possibly. And then this person, the challenge was them not being able to see something. They were trapped, okay? So we're going to find out more when we get to clarifying. But coming into the near future, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this unrequited love, so either you or your person... Um, one person is very much has a lot of love, okay, because um, the cups is coming up, okay? However, the other person can now be at a place where they've moved on. They're no longer open to this connection, okay? They, they may be at a point where they're not wanting to express their love, okay? So that's unrequited love. One person's in, the other one person's out, okay? Your energy, Taurus, we do have the King of Swords, and so we definitely have two kings on the table here. You certainly could be dealing with two different people. We do have masculine energies, but however, it does not mean that there are two males in your life. Um, 
we do have air and we do have water. So you could be dealing certainly with an air and a water sign. But however, we do have um, you may be wanting some kind of truth here with the King of Swords. Okay, this could be your energy. You may be wanting or demanding some kind of honest communication with this person. And you may be cutting it out and, and you know, just saying, you know what, I want to hear the truth, nothing but the truth. Um, okay, and so you may be asking this person to now let you know maybe what have happened here. Or just come, like, straight to the point. You don't want all the garbage on all the BS, okay? Your partner is the death in reverse. So your partner could be wanting another chance with this. Um, in this connection, they could be wanting to resurrect something here. We do have Scorpio energy, okay? Whatever it is, there's something that is not done. Your person may feel like this unfinished business, okay? And we have the outcome, okay? We have the moon in reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces or even a Cancer here. But there's, a, um, there's something that's coming out to the open, okay? So if you had fears and anxieties in this connection, know that um, something's going to be revealed, okay? Something is going to come to light. OK, because what has been hidden behind the moon, you know, the next day the sun comes up and you have the clarity. OK, so something is going to help you release those fears and anxieties or there's going to be some kind of secret or um, information that's going to be revealed to you. OK, um, so that's the outcome. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. OK, so, yeah, there may be a broken commitment here or, or a broken relationship for sure. OK, Ten of Pentacles in reverse This is definitely um something coming um a family situation or even a marriage okay maybe coming to an end okay or you guys just not able to have that stability okay or move forward with some kind of commitment all right so take it how it resonates let's find out more what is going on with that four pentacles in reverse again you could be dealing with an earth sign here but regardless someone is now opening up okay they may be more flexible um maybe before they were very um they were holding back their emotions, maybe being a little selfish. Wow, page of swords. So maybe this person now wants to communicate to you. There's some kind of message of truth, okay, with the sword energy. This is about honest, truthful communication here. Or this could be certainly just a um, a younger a younger air sign in your life, okay? Um, you certainly could have kids with this person. But maybe there's some kind of truth that may have came to this person. Wow. That may have came to this person that now is making them open up with the four pentacles in reverse okay um and we also have the eight of pentacles so this person whoever you're dealing with or someone you or your person definitely wants to put in some kind of work here or effort okay into growing something here with the pentacles this is about you know and, and stability this is longevity this is something tangible okay so your person could be offering you something here they could be offering you the truth about a situation or offering you some kind of communication as well now, what do we have with the Eight of Swords in reverse? So, again, someone was trapped in the past, wasn't able to see something. Yeah, but now they're not, okay? So, the challenge is being able to get out of that trapped energy. Maybe they were um, confused. They couldn't make a decision. They, you know, whatever it is, this person is putting down the burdens, okay? We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is the end of a cycle here with the Ten. Um, someone is now dropping whropever was in the way of this connection and dropping these burdens these responsibilities and that is going to put a big relief on them okay maybe it's going to bring relief in that they'll be able to move forward with some kind of communication here and put in some kind of work here with the eight of pentacles um but the ten of wands like i said this is the end of a cycle this person's like i'm done i just want to i want to be able to move forward so they're, they're dropping these burdens and um you know you certainly could be dealing with a fire sign what is the Seven of Pentacles, I mean, Seven of Cups in the recent past? We have some kind of confusion. This person also could have been fantasizing or not real um, realistic about things. Their expectations regarding love could have just been silly, okay? They were focusing on materialistic things, physical attributes, you know, stuff like that, okay? What is the Seven of Cups about? Why is the Seven of Cups in the recent past? Well, wow, King of Cups. So they could have been dealing with someone who was a water sign who may have been offering some kind of... Um, I don't know, some kind of benefit here, okay? Um, they could have been dealing with someone who was confusing them, okay? Who was who was in the way or standing in the way of this relationship, who may have mixed with their emotions, their feelings, okay? Um, may have even gotten interfered with their emotions and feelings for you, okay? Um, this King of Cups can also be emotionally manipulative. He doesn't have the firmest or the, the greatest control of his emotions. So they could have been dealing with someone, male or female, again, you know, it could just been a water sign male or female, who was confusing them about you, okay? And so they couldn't make a decision about how 
they felt about you, what they wanted to do moving forward, and so forth, okay? How they wanted to act. Let's find out more about this King of Cups. Because the King of Cups is also in your energy, too. So you may know about this person, this, this other person, your person is dealing with, okay, with the King of Cups. Wow. Maybe they were offered an Ace of Pentacles. There's something here that the King of Cups wants to offer some kind of commitment here, okay? You may know of your person maybe getting into some kind of commitment or some kind of long-standing relationship if you are thinking about that same King of Cups that came out in the past energy, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone, a water sign, King of Cups energy, um, who is now maybe offering something here, okay? Because in the past, there was confusion. They didn't know what they wanted regarding love. Um, you know, they may have been telling you things but not backing it up. But now with the King of Cups, with the Ace of Pentacles, now they're the real deal. They're bringing you some kind of stability. They're bringing you some kind of offer, some kind of beginning here, okay? I certainly feel this could be the same person, okay? I think they just changed. In the past, they were a hot mess, confusion, um, emotions all over the place, and now they finally got a hold of it, Okay? Now, in the foundation, we do have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, this, this person was not coming forward with a commitment. They were taking their slow as time, okay? Um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? They weren't coming into you. Yeah, you were the Queen of Cups. You could be the Queen of Cups, certainly. You were um, maybe withholding your love, okay, um, while this person was trying to figure out what exactly they wanted because, well, they weren't coming to you with the real deal, right? They were withholding. They may have been giving it to other people, okay? Regardless, this person wasn't bringing you that commitment, that offer that you wanted, okay? Um, they also could have been dealing with a water sign here, okay, because I look at the um, these particular cards when they're in the reverse, they could be a third party. So maybe this person was taking their slow time. They weren't bringing you commitment because, well, they were dealing with someone else on the side, guys. I'm just saying. So there was definitely unrequited love here. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I hate to see the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Someone definitely, um, there was some kind of communication that was done, okay? It happened very, very quick, okay? Very, very um, it could have been over social media. There's something that happened, a message that may have been given to you or your partner, and it left someone out in the cold. It left someone feeling neglected, okay, like someone just didn't care for them. Um, literally, they probably, either you or your partner got blocked, ghosted, whatever, okay? But there's some kind of communication that may have brought this to an ending where you guys had unrequited love, okay? Where there's a lack of love between you guys, both people, okay? Or there's certainly, since it is, in coming into the near future, okay? Take it how it resonates. Everyone's on a different spiritual path. This could be a third party. If your person's in a third party relationship, you would know of it. I really do strongly feel that you would know if it's a third party because the King of Cups came out in your energy too, as well as the past. So if your person was dealing with someone in the past, okay, I do feel like in upcoming in the near future, that is going to come to an end with the Ace of Cups in reverse. There's going to be some kind of communication about it, okay? Um, that's going to leave someone stranded, okay? Now, King of Swords, okay? Um, your energy is a King of Swords. Yeah, well, you're done with fighting with this person. You're done with all the drama. Five of Swords, Five of Wands in reverse, okay? You're done with all the drama. Um, you're done with this person playing around with the Three of Cups in reverse. You know, just acting like you're just any other person that they can just casually date and just have fun with. You know, you want the real deal. You're not settling, settling for something um, well, you deserve more, okay? You know your worth. So I do feel like if this person was to just be like, you know, put you in a third party again or even have you um, just waiting on them, you're not going to take it. You're, you're not going to allow it, okay? So I do feel that strongly. You are acting. You are you are moving forward. You're cutting out any BS, okay? If this person doesn't come to you with the honest truth and the real deal, you are cutting them out. You're not you're not having that, okay? You're not putting up with that, with that um, kind of... Uh, behavior anymore okay and your partner has a death in reverse you could be dealing with a scorpio wow i'm taking all these cups so yeah they want to resurrect something here guys they want to come back a blast from the past okay they want to reignite the flames between you guys they're not done this is unfinished business and they know we got the justice card you could be dealing with a libra they realize things are not balanced okay they know things aren't balanced between you guys at least in the past things weren't fair things weren't equal okay and they're they're thinking back they're looking back on the past the six of cups okay this is your soulmate energy this is the past life um person and they're definitely reflecting 
you know they're looking at all the good times you guys spent with each other the dating the smiles the flirting the kissing the hugging the cuddling all that good stuff and they wish well they had it again right so they miss you know an opportunity here with you there is feelings and emotions they still have whether they're showing it or not okay and they want to come back they want to they want to re-enter your life here um and they do realize the seven of cups came out again so yeah your, your person be careful if they come back in your life Make sure they don't have these options still because this person may be still playing around because with the three of cups in reverse, okay, um, and the seven of cups, this is a lot of confusion. This person could be dealing with a lot of people on the side. Therefore, they're not able to come and focus on you. They're not able to give you the love because, well, there's just emotions and love and throwing all different places in different corners, okay? So make sure if this person comes to you back, if they want a second chance here, or if they're just coming back in your life to rebirth something here with the death in reverse, make sure they end all these other side gigs and all that, okay? I'm just saying, guys. Now, the outcome is the moon in reverse. So yeah, there's some kind of secret that's being revealed, okay? You're gonna find out about something. Wow, 10 of cups, guys. There's going to be something here regarding some kind of um, family situation, some kind of commitment. Um, your person could be in a relationship or maybe they're coming in now wanting a relationship with you. Guys, I don't know what this is about. I feel like this person, you're going to know that they really do have feelings for you. They see you as a ten of cups. They want this relationship. Um possibly marriage, you know, settling down, having kids, and it's going to relieve you from the fears and anxieties, okay? There's going to be something that's going to be revealed, and you're going to be like, what? Like, wow, that's what the moon card is about, okay? It's major arcana. It's a big change, okay? Um, yeah, but you may be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, but the queen of swords in reverse, you're a little like, you, you've been through everything with this person. You know, this person may have broken your heart. They may have left you just feeling like just hopeless about love, and so... Your heart is a rock, you know? You you may be focusing on trying to heal still, and you're not really wanting to entertain any conversation with this person. So, yeah, this, pers this person may come back and may reveal to you here with the moon in reverse that they do want the Ten of Cups. They want these emotions. They want this family, this, this relationship, um, you know, long-term relationship with you. But it's like, really, you know, the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're going to cut out anything that doesn't sound right. And if this person is BS or not, coming to you with the entire truth, okay, or they're hiding something, you're going to know, okay, Taurus, you're going to know that, um, and I'm just going to clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so that was at the bottom of the deck for the overall theme, I think that really, honestly, just you guys are not together right now, it's a um, broken relationship here, you guys could be on the outs, wow, temperance came out, guys, this is Sagittarius energy here, and we got three of wands, so I do feel like you have to have patience here, okay? You have to have patience. Let this person maybe come to you and let them figure it out. You know, again, they had they were trapped with the Eight of Swords. There was Seven of Cups came out twice. There's a lot of confusion. This person is just a hot mess. They may be going through a lot right now, certainly here with the Justice. There's a lot of um, un -thing be things that aren't balanced yet, okay? And I do feel like here with the Temperance, I feel like Spirit is telling you that you have to take your time. Things happen in moderation. Be patient, okay? This person will come to you, okay? And I do feel like with Three of Wands, um, things could be moving forward, okay? So wait for your ships to come in, okay? Wait for things to happen. Don't go and chasing it. Don't chase this person because, well, they ain't ready yet. And maybe if they come in too early, they may not be able to present the actual offer that you may want. So let this person get their stuff together and um, have patience, work on your healing, okay? Um, and maybe this person will come back and, and change because they certainly here want the Ten of Cups with you. They want to reignite things here, okay? They're the one making their grand finale back, the death and reverse, okay? They ain't done yet. And it's going to be something that's going to come out, okay, that's going to allow you to have some peace of mind. It's going to allow you to release anxieties and fears, okay? Um, and you may have to spend some time also and maybe healing yourself because you, if this is you, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, she's a little, mm, she could be a little bitter. She could be a little just not in a place to really um, be open to love, right? Because she's very much thinking with her head and not her heart. So definitely there's something that you guys, maybe you both have to work on 
trying to come together, healing past wounds and past traumas in order to be open to this connection and union. Because I definitely feel like you guys both definitely want it here. The Ace of Cups even coming out in general. This is saying that you guys have a lot of love to give here. And the Ten of Cups is certainly is some kind of um, union that wants to come together, okay? So take it how it resonates, guys. Um, Taurus, that was for you. Let me know if this resonated. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.